In this video, I'll demonstrate how to add an interface in a library of application code manager. Interfaces are used when information from one library needs to be passed on to another library. Consider a requirement where library A needs to know the program name, tag name or other parameter values of library B. Both the library will have interfaces that will provide a link to consume library B parameters in library A. The following are the points that gives interfaces more flexibility over link library parameter links. The first reason for using interfaces is the possibility to pass information like program name and tag data. The next reason to use interface is to resolve different data structures between libraries. As shown here, library A have a choice of connecting to multiple libraries like library B or library C. But both library B and library C have different data structures. In interfaces, the parameters are connected using common interface names, thus resolving the differences in parameter names and facilitate to pass information despite different parameter names from one library to another. The interfaces can also be configured to automatically select member references from link library. This is done when member references of link library are to be connected. As shown here, the interface members of library B are automatically connected to interface members of library A as library B is link library to library A. Alternatively, interfaces can be configured to select member references manually without depending on the link library. For example, library A interface members can be connected to interface members of library D which is not part of link library in library A. Interfaces can be configured to only allow the member references of a unique key ID. This eliminates user error while selecting member references. Alternatively, interfaces can be configured to not validate the key ID while selecting the member reference. This gives user choice to select members from different libraries. A detailed explanation about interfaces. An interface is an object in a library that provides a link that another library object can consume. The link references an object in a library such as task, program, routine or a tag. There are two types of interfaces, input and output. Output interface are connected to the input interface. Output interfaces allow variant tag member structures from different libraries to be mapped to a common interface member name. Input interfaces are used within a library without needing to know the provider's tag structure. For the demo, I have PowerFlex 525 and MotorVSD library objects. The MotorVSD belongs to the application layer code managing the operation of a motor like start, stop, fault reset and ramp. The PowerFlex 525 belongs to the device layer managing the physical hardware by issuing commands and references. Both these instructions are connected using control interface tags for setting, command and status. While instantiating motor VSD library in ACM, the PowerFlex 525 device object is instantiated as a link library. The control interface tag names needs to be passed from PowerFlex 525 to motor VSD library. This information is passed using the output and input interfaces. In the library decoration, the PowerFlex 525 library has an output interface which has the program name, tag name and module name members. The motor VSD library object has an input interface connected to the PowerFlex 525 link library which receives the program name, tag name and module name from PowerFlex 525. In this demo, I'll show how to add output interface in PowerFlex 525 library object and input interface in motor VSD library object. For library decoration, I have launched the library designer from Studio 5000. 
In libraries, I have already decorated Motor VSD and PowerFlex Y25 libraries. First, I'll add the output interface in PowerFlex Y25 library object. I'll open the implement type library of PowerFlex Y25. Open the interface tab. Click on the add new button. I'll name the interface as RAC ITF Power Velocity. Leave the usage as output. Enter the description. I'll enter a unique key ID as 101 and revision as 1. The next step is to add the members. Click on the add button. Select any object like routine name. Click OK. Select the member and click on edit member. I'll modify the member name as PRG name. Modify the value as program name. Enter the description and click OK. Follow similar steps to add the tag name and module name members. The members are added now. Click OK to finish. Now I have added the output interface in PowerFlex 525 library object. Next I'll open the motor VSD implement type object. I'll open the link libraries. I have already added a link library for a device object. As you can see the catalog number is empty which means the motor VSD object can connect to any library which belongs to device solution, device library type and power velocity category. This gives flexibility to user to connect the motor VSD to any velocity class device. This also means that similar to PowerFlex 525, all velocity class devices will need to have an output interface to pass the program name tag name and module name information. I'll open the interface tab. To add an input interface click on the add button. I'll name the input interface as RAC ITF power velocity. Change the usage to input. Add a description. Select the link name which is the link library device object. To add the members click on import members. Select the PowerFlex 525 library. Select the interface that needs to be imported and click OK. As you can see all the member names are imported now. Also the key ID and revision. When the keying is selected as exact match, the keys defined for the interface and its members in the project must match the ones defined on the target system. The interface and its members can't be set manually. When the keying is disabled, the keying attributes are not evaluated, thus the member references can be selected manually. However, only the members with the same data type can be selected. Click OK. Now we have added the input interface. Next we will connect the interface members to the library object. As you can see the control interface tags needs to be connected to the device object in link library. I will open the substitution tab. 
here I will add a substitution for device instance name. In the replacement, I will add the interface members. First, I have added the program name. Next, I will add the tag name. Click OK. I will go back to the same rung. Now you can see the device instance name is replaced by the program name and tag name member of the input interface. The input interface is now added and the members are linked in the library. The Motor VSD and PowerFlex 525 libraries are also published. I will open ACM and instantiate the libraries. I have ACM open now. I will add the motor VSD library object. I will name the instance as inlet pump control. I will leave the parameters as default and move to link library. Next is to add the device object. Since in the link library we have not specified any catalog number. The ACM gives the choice of all the catalog numbers that are under the solution device, library type as device and category as power velocity. I will select the PowerFlex 525 library. Name the instance as device object inlet pump. I will change the routine name as inlet pump control. So both motor VSD and PowerFlex 525 device object are placed in the same routine. Add the link library. Click finish to complete the instantiation of device object. Now we have the device object added. I'll click auto create to create the rest of the link libraries. In the interface links, no action is required. You can notice the output interface members of device object inlet pump are linked to the input interface members of the motor VSD. Since the keying is selected as exact match, the user cannot modify these fields. I will click finish to complete the instantiation. Next I will generate the code and show you the output. I have the logics ACD file opened. Here you can notice the interface tag of device object is linked with the motor VSD. In another example, I have the motor VSD and PowerFlex 525 device object instantiated in two different programs. Here you can notice the control interface tag connection has program name and tag name. Thanks for watching the video.